You could have another party of five to ten people up the front. Just give you a, a real great first impression. Hey guys, welcome to uh, the pinnacle of your success, I think. Today I'm on the Princess V65. Um, this really is the at the apex of the style of boating a lot of guys you're going to be watching and hopefully want to get to. Um, this boat's epic. I've just been for a drive. If you're interested in a test drive video, follow the link coming up on the screen and welcome to the walkthrough. Uh, the V-Series Princess, they are well known. You know, these, this style, um, the V-Series has been around for a while. They've been uber successful all around the world. Um, and the 65 um, is, is no different. This thing's epic. So um, come with me. We're going to go from the stern to the bow, back again, right through the interior. And we're going to finish off with the engine bay. Um, so yeah, and if you stay to the end, you might even be able to follow another link and see this boat parking, which uh, it's quite possible to do. Um, short-handed, which, uh, which is what I like about this style of boat because you've got epicness, but it's also capable to be managed short-handed. Anyway, let's get to the walkthrough. Here we are, we've got quite a large swim platform. We've got these vents here, which allow for air to pass through when you've got um, a swell or waves coming across the back of the boat. This is a hydraulic high-low platform just here. I love the name on the back. Isn't that nice how it's backlit? Very cool. Um, you've got two accesses forward, so you can go up the port or starboard side just there. We've got our stainless steel cleats and then this um, molded stainless steel grab rail, which goes forward, shore power in just here. And then you've got courtesy lights, one, two, three on every step. And we'll check out the other side in a sec. So Mitch, why don't you follow me? And we'll go up this side and we'll just sort of start making our way around the boat. Got an access hatch into a lazarette just here. Um, nice stainless steel finishing. That's gonna lead you in to the aft cleat just here. That'll be good for stern to mooring in the med. The kid and doggy door just here with the princess logo, nicely finished. And it looks like a life raft storage just in there with a removable stainless steel grab bar just there. Uh, as we enter, it's all teak. And actually on this boat, the teak carries all the way through so it, it's got quite a plush feel but come in here um how good is this seriously but we've got the aft sun lounge which you hopefully saw on the way up and then you this is your alfresco dining area so before i sit down and give you a feel for the size i want you to check something out i'm hopefully going to do this right uh-huh yeah Worried about sun protection? Not anymore. How good's that? And how quickly does it deploy too? So I can stop this if I want. So I just got to press it like this. I can stop it there, but it, it carries on and on. I'll let it go the whole way so you can see how much it will extend. So that's great. Like really, really cool. I can see a reversing camera mounted up here. This styling of the roof finishes just here. So really only these people are going to get protection from this part. and everyone out here is gonna need the sunshade uh, to be deployed if you want some shade out here during the middle of the day. Obviously, we have options, which we're gonna to get to in a second. Um, you know, this, this really is a step up in terms of what I've seen when I walk through the boat. And I think that theme carries with this table. This is beautiful. We've got this flip up here, one, two, three drink holders. I'm not sure if it flips, flips both ways. No, just, just that way. And in terms of number of people, eight people, like no problems, maybe more. This is very comfortable. You know, you've got lots of, lots of lower back support. It's nice and soft. And this seat here is quite long. So like my feet are actually not touching the ground there. So it's quite a lot of space and you could lounge out facing forward in this back corner. I suspect that's gonna be a popular seat just there. Um, so I'll just cover a couple of points here and then a few more things before we go around the decks. So I've got a, 
an electric Barbie just here with like a marble surround. And then the uh, that looks like a stainless backsplash or something. Um, we've got storage and bin just there. This is fixed here, so this is good for serving. That's a fridge just there. So with the galley here, perfect for serving and getting straight into it. And obviously doing the barbie, you're gonna be out of the wind and you can serve your lunch just there. Um, engine access through this hatch just here. Stay till later in the video. And we'll go through that in detail a little bit later. Um, we've got some underwater lights and then lights overhead operation from here. And I'll just move that boat hook. Okay, so I've got some diesel shutoffs, bilge pump operation and fire boy release just hidden in there. Fusion stereo here, wing station just here. So this boat is powered by a couple of man, 1400 horsepower, um, straight shaft drive. So I've got the uh, emergency stops just here and here. That looks like anchor operation. And I've also got the thrusters. Uh, and this boat really is possible to park solo because we just did it. Um, so whilst I'm here, I'm actually going to keep my finger on this button here. Now I've got to turn it on first, so let's do that. And then, okay. So what I'm doing right now is opening up the tender garage. And on boats of this size, you have enough length within the hull to accommodate a decent sized tender garage. Um, if hanging a tender across the back of your boat isn't your cup of tea, um, which personally, it's not my cup of tea because it ruins the looks of a boat. And a boat like this is gorgeous and you kind of want to retain those looks. So it's nice to be able to put it and hide everything away. So come down here and check this out. We have got a Williams jet tender hidden in here. It's got its own rails to deploy into the water. Obviously you put the platform down and then you deploy that. We've got a couple of um, stand up paddle boards and all, the, and all the paddles just in here. So that's the sort of thing that you would do with a boat like this. And then I can even see he's storing his fishing rods up here as well. Um, that just says happiness to me. That says Saturday afternoon happiness. You know, this down, that in the water, those pumped up, that's, that's what it's all about. So let's uh, come with me. I'm, I'm kind of like not rushing this. I'm just speeding it. It's really cold here in Auckland. So <laughs> it's the middle of winter, but I want to get inside the boat because it's noticeably chilly right now and I'm feeling it. So, okay. Cover storage just here. I'd say hazard to guess that we have the same on the other side. Another courtesy light there. Another midships cleat. That's good to see. And then check this out, epic. This is what I love about boats of this size. So you can have a whole party of five to 10 people at the back of the boat. You can have another party of five to 10 people up the front, but you know, clearly multiple people could lounge out on this sun lounge here. And this design allows for um, people to sit and relax whilst you're underway. I'd, I'd probably sit on that side so you're not in front of the skipper, but you could do that. That would be awesome on a hot day, but you know, conversing, relaxing, and eating lunch up here would be good too. Check that out. Okay, so that pops up there for a little bit of a backrest. Another nice place to relax underway. I see some drink holders there and same again on the other side. And then the anchor locker is just below Mitch's feet up here. It's worth just pointing out that we've got the Lumar anchor windlass, stainless chain, and it's got the rope function on the top of the windlass. We'll just have a quick look in here. Okay, so we've got a freshwater wash down and you've got control for the windlass up in the bow. Obviously we can control it at the helm and I also saw that wing station control. And then this is gonna be our anchor locker in here, which it is, bucket loads of chain, fender storage and lines. And then you can tie them up close to the deck so you can reach them, which is good. Beautiful big stainless steel anchor just there. This is, this is like success. This is what this boat screams to me. So come with me, let's go down and have a look down below. That's something, it's not marked, not sure what it is. Could be, it could be head out, I'm not sure. That's another um, uh, uh, locker to store some covers. This is the helm door just here. So we do have an opening helm door not all boats of this style have that, but that's, that's super handy. We've got a water in just here, 
and I suspect we might have another. There, two tanks. Diesel filler, just there. Courtesy lights as we go. Alrighty, so come inside. I'm just gonna kick my shoes off. So the concertina is stainless steel framed, uh, big solid glass doors actually. They concertina, to, they, they close to here and then concertina back to here. That's fully open. And then you have this flip up one here on the big gas strut. So packing up at the end of the day, close the helm door, close that, <whistles> close across here, throw your covers on, ready to go. So um, not too hard, but come on inside and let me just move my camera bag out of the way. I forgot to move that before, guys, so pretend that wasn't there. Um, just come and soak this up because it's just gorgeous. This is, you know, some boats, um, when you enter, just give you a, a real great first impression. And that's what I got with this boat. All the different materials, the colors, and it's just impressive, I guess. That's, that's how I immediately felt. I felt at home and I felt impressed. And then when we went driving and how, uh, how quiet it is in here with the engines, you know, all, what is that like? 2,800 horsepower of them running away and we're doing 30 plus knots. It's just an elegant ride, like it really is. So um, let's start here and then we'll work, out, work our way into the galley. So you got the forward sun lounging area, you got the aft sun lounging area, you got the forward seating, you got the aft seating, and now we have this inside seating. So this is basically your inside dining is the way I would envisage this area being used as. It's opposite the galley, great views over the water, and you can open this table up, double size like so, and you can seat you know, four people here for a meal, no problems. I wonder if that goes both ways. No, it's just that way, okay. Um, and then when it's in the half size, you've got this leather insert into the timber, which actually is a bit grippy too. And then that same leather is wrapped around here. And the, the, the timber work, there's a bit of curved timber work in this boat, which is quite nice. They've, they've really put a, little, you know, a, a lot of extra work into finishing this boat um, in all the little areas that we, we will see. So a couple of drink holes here and here. Um, that looks like air conditioning, I've got blinds that come down, I've got uh, air conditioning control just here, and I've got a couple of stools to put on the other side of this dining area. Then when we get into the galley, yeah, really nice, really lovely. Like you've got down lighting here, this is gonna stop any of your preparation causing mess over onto the lounge just here. It's gonna stop it all, but it looks beautiful. I've got a twin stainless steel sink here, hot and cold. I'm not gonna open everything because this is an owned boat, so I'll try and just explain to you what I see uh, and what I've memorized because uh, I don't really wanna open all these cupboards. Um, fridge, freezer, shallow storage, two shallow storage lockers here and here. Drawers down here and a waste bin in here four burner hot plate just here, microwave. This will be a dishwasher and then more storage lockers and drawers just here and here. This one is not storage, but this one is just here. So fully, fully capable galley, basically. Two 240 outlets just there and a little ledge behind, nice place to put your salt and peppers and shakers and all that sort of stuff. Um, so. We've gone from the teak floor into the timber floor for this galley and dining area. And then we come up one step of about this high. And at the moment we are under a solid roof. So the roof curves a little bit. So as you go up the step here, the roof follows that step and gives you the same amount of head height. So you're not actually losing anything in terms of a, uh, a bumping your head type risk. But let's just check out this lounge room. So this is the saloon, and this is bigger than the dining area and super comfy. This is super nice. And you can converse with everyone in the boat. I can communicate, I've got a direct line of sight from the helm to the dining area, outside and to the galley. And you've, you just, this couch is 
sort of designed in such a way that you are immediately relaxed no matter where you're sitting. So that's, that's very nice. Um, obviously, a double leaf table here, so we can open that like so. And obviously, you can do a meal here as well if you choose or if you need. Um, you know, this boat's going to be capable of catering for very large numbers, so that is possible should you need. So that's lovely. Stainless steel wraparound and storage underneath this timber finished panel just here. And the details is what I, it's kind of what screams at me on this boat. Everywhere you look, it's going from nice finishings to timber details. And then this has got, you know, these lines in here. That's, that's you know, craftsmanship, um, which you don't see on a lot of boats. So that's, that's really lovely. So now in this saloon area, I just want you to point up and have a look here. This, I'm not gonna open it because it's cold. Um, this is an electrically operated sunroof. So this one, two, three, four, this whole thing opens. So on a hot day, you can crack it, get some fresh air through the boat. Remember, you've got the opening helm door just there, but we could do the air conditioning as well. So um, that's nice. And if you're worried about the heat load from the sun, all of them have blinds that pull and close that up as well. Next thing, down lights, down lights above the table. And I also see some down lights positioned directly above the other table as well. Um, before we get to the helm, this area here, we have ice maker, fridge, drinks. So all your glassware is in here. This is that nice leather finish that we saw just there. So that's carried through, nicely stitched, and it provides a little bit of grippiness. So for things like you can see, the owner of the boat has got his things sitting here and nothing moved when we did the drive before. Um, that's clearly air conditioning outlets, but I would hazard to guess that this is gonna be a pop-up TV because it faces the saloon. So that makes sense. And these windows all the way around have concertina blinds. So for privacy or for heat load, if you needed to do that, it is doable. I've forgotten what's in here. Oh, serving platters, of course. Um, perfect serving platter area. Um, now, come to the helm. Um, I'm gonna sit up. You really do feel like, um, I don't know, you're Elon Musk in charge of your spaceship when you <laughs> When you're at the helm of this boat, it's pretty impressive. It's very enjoyable, um, but it also delivers. Like, um, again, if you're interested in how it drives, just watch the test drive video. She's got some legs. We've got full tanks of fuel and water on this boat today, and we did well over 30 knots. She gets up and goes, and she responds as you would, uh, I guess, as you, as you would wish. Um, but what do I see? I've got leather wrap around just up here. I've got this nice timber finishing forward. So little extra details just making it super plush, but the dash itself is functional. So I've got screen, screen for navigation, and I can obviously pump through my other information. So I've got the reversing camera on it now. Um, you could do your radar and other data feeds on that like depth if you wish. I've got my man, uh, diesel uh, feed out just here. So everything from fuel flow, revs, etc., can be displayed on there. And I guess starting from left to right, air conditioning, phone charging. This is gonna be cards for your chart plotters. This is some drink holders just here. This is gonna be the gyro operation here. That's a buy data, speed and depth. It's good to have that on a big display, nice and visible. Just here is the side power thrusters. They're variable speed electric thrusters. So you can hold the boat in position um, and the thrusters will keep operating at high or low speeds depending on your finger input. Anchor operation, roof, lights, lights, instruments, lights and lights. Um, on the starboard bank, on the starboard side of the wheel, horn, bilge one, two, three, wipers, um, demister, and no idea what that button is. And then I've got uh, Raymarine Autopilot. Um, what's this? Oh, then I've got emergency start, emergency stops. I've got my, my engine starts, my keys, my Fireboy, trim tabs, VHF. And the throttle position is comfortably positioned or set back, I should say, for, for this boat. So you can, like I am right now, sit up here this wheel is adjustable, leather wrapped with the Princess logo in the middle. I note that the Princess logo always 
faces up, that's cool. Um, and it's quite comfortable. So you can operate the boat, good visibility, comfortable on your palm like that, and it's, um, you're good to go. Let's have a quick look under here. Um, now the charging point, that's upside down. I can't read what that is, not sure what it is. Um, EPIRB, battery, seats are adjustable just here. And just come in close and have a look at these seats, Mitch. They're really nice. That's quite impressive. You've got to have a good seat on a boat like this. So, soft padding, cross stitching, good headrest, and they're adjustable. What more can you ask for? So, I think it's time to go downstairs. Um, and this is, once again, I said I was impressed when I entered the saloon or when I entered the cabin of this boat. I got impressed again when I came down these stairs. So join me. Um, as you come down, you can see the control panel on starboard. So I've got another air conditioning outlet here. Um, they're just light switches, but this is gonna be my 240 uh, and 12 volt or 24 volt DC on this boat actually. I've got my water feed as well. So that's all there. But as you come down, I'm not sure if this is gonna come up on the camera, this timber work has curves in it. So it's really nice. It's like you're in a, you know, you're in a, a fancy hotel or something because the, the, the timber does this and then it curves around. It's all beautifully finished. Then you come down these stairs and they're all rounded off at the edges, nice carpet wrapped around so you're gonna have good grip and they're backlit. So every, everything sort of pops at you. So next thing, as you enter this part of the boat, like I've got this leather wrapping, which I think this is, the same stuff that we saw up on the dining table. Uh, don't hold me to that, but it feels like we're carrying that, that same theme. So I think we should just check out the forward VIP. Come on down. So it's a four cabin boat, this. And this is a VIP that feels like a master. Like, it's pretty impressive. So I just like, you know, when you get into boats of this caliber, design, use of materials and how they're all complementing one another. It's kind of important. And they've done a good job here. Nice headboard here. It's not too, uh, it's not too busy in terms of all the materials they're using and the design that they've applied to it. And it's just, just, just elegant. But you can sit up in bed. Uh, each person has a reading light and then each person has their own space on either side. This is clearly the ladies' side on the port side because you've got a mirror here with a little makeup thingy jiggy drawer and then a TV and I even like this timber panel on the port side it's a different come in and have a look at this Mitch so this timber here is what we carry through most of the cabins but as a feature they've done a different style of timber which really pops but in an elegant way um, that's that's great I, I like seeing that. that that's really cool so as I was saying, this is the lady side. You've got a stereo control here. You've got some charging there, somewhere to put your phones, blinds, big hole windows, opening ports, storage, and storage. And then, so try and, we have a hanging locker. Wait, you go around this way, Mitch, and then come back and look at me here. We've got full hanging locker on the starboard side, and then, Similar scenario without the makeup thingamajiggy on uh, the port side, but we have private head, quite a large and luxurious head. So this feels like a fancy Turkish bath kind of vibe. So you got the tiles here, you got the loo just here, you've got this curved timber work going around, and then a, a really luxurious vanity, I've got to say. And this looks like a heated towel rack. That's cool. That's cool. Um, big shower, really big shower, everything you need. So uh, I'm not going to get in it because I want to keep going. There's a lot of cabins on this boat and I don't want to make this video too long. So come with me. Um, now, uh, we come out of the VIP immediately to starboard. We've got the day head. So this is what you would consider the day head on this boat. We've got a smaller vanity just here. We still have a separate shower and a nice fancy loo. And this mirror behind here does also open. Um, 
The day head has access to this cabin. So what we'll do, we'll go to one of the first guest cabins, and that's in here, and check this out. How lovely is this? So we've got a couple of singles here. I don't know, do these slide across? Yeah, they do. So these will slide across electrically to create a double um, should you need. So that, that's good. If you've got another adult couple, this would be their cabin. So you've got the VIP forward and then another adult couple, couple could stay in this one. And then the kiddies cabin, we'll see in a second. But we've got TV, we've got hanging, hanging storage, we've got storage here, we've got the blinds, we've got the opening port. Again, all the textures and the finishing is really, really nicely done. And you could still just sort of sit up. Yeah, you could. You could sit up in bed. Yeah, sit up and kind of sit up. That's fine. Um, so, yeah, you're not wanting at all. And I've got storage drawers underneath each bed just there. And this was the door that I mentioned before, which goes into the day head. So, so they do have that little luxury there as well. Um, before we get to the master, this is the kiddies cabin. So I've got a bit of the owner stuff there, so I don't, won't go through it all at the moment, but you've got two bunks there and there, a little bit of storage, opening window, and a hanging locker as well. So that's definitely the kiddies cabin, and they would be more than happy in there. So um, this is kind of the, the epic part of the boat, so come with me. Um, I just want you to, to pay attention to this rounded finish of the stairs, like all these little details is what I'm kind of getting from this boat. They've, they've just gone the extra mile to, to finish her off. So I've got washer and dryer. This is the sort of boat that you're gonna be wanting to do that sort of thing on. I've got storage in here. And then hopefully you'll notice the timber work doing this nice rounded vibe again as we come through here. I can see the, the walls of the bulkheads quite thick and rubberized. So when you close these doors, there's a proper sound seal. That's just worth noting. And just, just come in here. I'm gonna go over there because this is epic. This is, a, this is what you get in a 65 foot a boat, but, but I'm standing up like, look at this. We got so much space. And this is why you buy a boat of this size. So you can retain the looks of the boat. It's beautiful. You can have the tender garage and you get a cabin like this. We've got epic panoramic windows on either side. We've got this beautiful big bed. Once again, all the textures, the finishings, I've got high quality speakers just uh, down there in the roof, and I've got storage all the way along here for everything you might need. Oh, that's nice, cool picture with Reavers. Oh, I like that, I like this guy's got good style. Um, so I just want you to see, hopefully this is coming up on the camera, This this timber finish. So remember in the VIP cabin, how we saw this different texture um, just kind of making the cabin pop? They've done the same thing here with this darker timber, with this wood grain that goes like this and set off against this uh, texture. I don't even know what this is. If someone knows, leave a comment in the description. But that's quite nice. It, it really has a, its own stylish little vibe to it, and I like it. Air conditioning control, got a little lounge just here. Um, great spot to chill out and read a book. Each side has their own little table next to the bed. You got charging, look, everything you would expect, it's in here. Um, yes, so come on down, down a small step about four inches and into the best head of the boat, which you would expect. Before we get there, I'll just quickly, I don't want to open them too much, all the guys' gear, but very large storage just in here for all your wet weather gear, your clothes, etc. can quite happily go in there. So how cool is this? Like, this is a luxurious head on a boat. We've got a proper stand-up shower here. It's almost full beam. So... Um, that's cool. And even your vanity is wider. You've got the heated towel rack, storage there. It, it's, just, it's just gorgeous. And this tile carrying through the whole, uh, through the whole bathroom's lovely. But it's got a functional aspect to it as well in, in the way I see it because you, your engine room's that way and your bed's that way. So it's going to provide you some sound insulation by having two bulkheads in between. Very practical in my opinion.
Welcome to the engine bay. Um, I wanted to come down and film it like this so you could see that I'm standing up. I'm not crouching. This is the amount of volume you have down here. So um, that's impressive. Uh, okay, so I'll start on the port side. We've got the MAN V12. So these are V12, 1400 horsepower, straight shaft turbo diesels. Beautiful sounding things, run great. Um, that looks like a water maker just there. We have a number one tank of two on the port side, insulated. And as you can see, the insulation, um, just hopefully get some of that as we go through, Mitch, because the insulation is fantastic and we noticed it at the helm. It was really, really great. You know, the, um, uh, the decibels were, were very low. Um, I can see raw water intakes just in front of me here with the glass um, sight gauge uh, for, for, for the, um, if you pick up anything. I can see a, a mid bilge pump below me. I'm on, I'm on some checker plate so I can walk in between the motors. I've got dual filters um, coming from each tank, going to each motor. Um, don't know what that is, something to do with the motors. That is tank number two, just there on starboard, insulated, and I can see a blower on either side. And then... Thanks for that, guys. If you want to learn more about the V65 Princess, uh, follow the link coming up on the screen now for our test drive video. I'm also going to pop a video up about us parking the boat today, which uh, we did with the skipper Mark. We we're a little bit short on time, so I wasn't able to repeat the process talking to you. Uh, but I'll edit something up so you can learn a little bit about that. Um, this boat, it's as advertised. It's gorgeous. It's impressive. It makes you feel fantastic. And this is a boat you buy when you are at the pinnacle of your boating career. My, day, my name's Dan Jones. This has been Dan's Boat Life. See you on the next one.